Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to open multiple websites with a batch file in Windows 10. Although, between you and me, it'll probably work with any version of Windows. Batch files are easy to do. If you've never created one, it's like creating a text document. Don't be nervous. This is really easy to do. You really can't harm your computer. Once you do this, you can open all your favorite websites. And in a little bit, we're going to show you how to start it up with Windows. So if you have a fast computer, especially with an SSD drive, when your computer restarts, your browser opens with your favorite websites, news, stocks, whatever turns you on. All right. Look for the I in the video up here or look in the video description if you want to copy and paste any of this code, but it's really, really easy to do. You probably won't need it. So you're going to do an ampersand echo off just the way you see it. Then you're going to do start space website, enter, start space website, enter, and do that as many times as you want. So I'm going to copy my example here. And I'm going to open Notepad. So open Notepad any way you usually do. For example, you can do search N-O-T-E-P-A-D. Windows key plus S will do search if you don't have the search box. Click Notepad. Control V to paste that in. Change it to whatever you want. And now for the important part. If you click File Save, it'll save it as a text document. So we want to do File Save As. Make sure you decide where you want to save it. I'm going to save it at the desktop. And you see the star.txt. We're going to change that to right here underneath it sorry save as type text documents we're gonna switch that to all files I already had one over here I was playing around with so I will name it websites.bat click Save and you can close notepad because it's sitting right here let's try it out by double clicking it and there's the three websites our YouTube channel tweaking.com major geeks all opened up automatically in your default browser that's it piece of cake don't want to use it anymore delete it you want to edit it that's a little trickier a lot of files you can right click and do open with it doesn't apply to a batch file so you'd actually have to do notepad again just so you know what I open this time dummy let me try it here recents notepad so you do file open and once again don't forget the important part it's a text document it's looking for make sure you choose all files double click your batch file and now you can edit it all you want and there you have it all right let's have a little more fun and let's uh, by the way you noticed you can actually do that with your web browser open which I did this is our page in the background but it went ahead in the already open browser and fired them up right inside the browser I was using so you can actually use it anytime how about startup that'd be neat let's put it in the startup your computer fires up there's all your favorite websites ready to rock and roll so what we want to do is find your batch file right click and do copy right click copy we want to run this right here with a windows key plus r shell colon startup so let's try that windows key plus r s h e l l colon s t a r t u p press enter or click OK and you can see we're in the program startup folder on this side the right side we're gonna right click and we're gonna do paste now it's in your startup go ahead and reboot your computer check it out for yourself you may want to bookmark this page for later or at least take note or try and remember what shell startup is because unlike changing your mind later and just deleting the batch file you're actually going to need to go back to shell startup if you change your mind oh come on and you'd have to right click delete it or click and delete but as long as you have this added from here every time you in other words you made a shortcut from your desktop to here that's what it's opening so as long as you edit this this will still open whatever you change here to start up. You don't have to repeat this step. This will just sit here and call this as many times as you want. And that's it. So that's kind of neat. Piece of cake. And there you have it. That's how you can open multiple websites with a batch file in Windows. Probably everything. Bottom right hand corner is a little subscribe button down here. If we helped you out, please subscribe. And of course, a like is always appreciated as well. And as always, we appreciate you watching and we hope to see you again. See ya.